Hey everyone, welcome back to Tired Old Queen at the Movies. Now let's go see Steve. Ooh, happy Valentine's Day, Johnny. The time of romance. So I decided to do a screwball comedy. Howard Hawks is bringing up baby with Katherine Hepburn, Cary Grant, Charlie Ruggles, Mae Robson, Walter Catlin. Now, this movie was one of the quintessential screwball comedies of the time. The basic plot is this. Cary Grant plays a paleontologist who has been putting together for a year this brontosaurus skeleton. And he needs this clavicle, this one piece of a clavicle, to put the whole thing together. The last bone we needed to complete the brontosaurus, the very last bone, the intercostal clavicle, is arriving tomorrow. And he also needs a million dollars, so he has found out that there's a benefactor, this woman, this wealthy widow, and in order to get the money from her, you have to play up to the lawyer. So he decides he's going to see the lawyer. So he goes out to play golf with this guy, this lawyer type, and he's not really any good at golf. He just wants to get these million dollars. You know, I need these clavicles. Then I wonder if you could use your influence with Mrs. Random. That would be nice. I Carrie's so cute in this. He's got these glasses on, you know, completely throwing off his looks, you know. He's just got, he's just so adorable. And he meets this strange woman who keeps backing into his car. She's in his car, but she thinks, it's, says it's her car. And backing into other cars and pulling it out. And he says, oh, madam, you're in my car. She goes, I beg your pardon. It's not really our car. You're being very, very rude, aren't you? You're very rude, aren't you? Which I don't care, but you're very rude. You know, oh, I think I'll let you report. Very cute. You get off my running boy. This is my running boy. All right, honey. Thank oh, you. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 so this goes on and on. She's obviously smitten with him right away, and he it finds her completely annoying, which you will too for a lot of this movie. <laughs> what for? She proceeds to show up at every single thing that he comes and and ruins every single thing. He, that night, he has to go and meet the lawyer again because he's completely blown it on the golf course. So he goes to this very, very fancy dress occasion and he shows up and she's there. And she walks up to him and he goes, oh, you. She goes, why do you keep following me around? You keep following me around. I can't believe you're following me around. You're going everywhere. Well, I do. Why do you? Oh, I'm not going everywhere. You, you're you showing up. Why are you doing this? I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm glad I'm doing it. And if it annoys you, I'm even more glad. So this is going back and forth, this banter. I was only trying to be nice. Thank you. This movie is filled with some of the best physical comedy, and he gets behind her, and she, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, oh! She realizes she has no back in her dress, and they have to walk across this huge ballroom, in step, in time with each other. Ready? Shall be calm. That foot first. All right. Turns out that she is a madcap heiress and she knows the lawyer and it turns out that the woman that he wants to get the money from is really her aunt who lives up there. So they're going to go to the country. He goes, oh, I don't think this is a very good idea. Yes, it's a wonderful idea. It's a wonderful idea. In the meantime, on top of all this, her brother, who is an archaeologist in Africa, has sent her a leopard, <laughs> a live leopard named Baby. Now, Baby pays no attention to any of them. He's perfectly trained leopard, but he freaks out Carrie's character. Oh, here it comes. Oh, now go away. Go. Oh, please go away. And Kate just walks the leopard around whenever it is. It comes in and out. And at the same time, when they get up to the country with the leopard, a circus comes through and their wild leopard gets out. So then you have the confusion of which leopard is it? Is it the wild leopard that they're confronting or the pet leopard? And then the dog of Catherine's aunt, who is the same dog that played Asta in all the Thin Man movies, Carrie finally has the, has the bone he wants and he the dog steals the bone and proceeds to bury it somewhere on the estate. So they're looking for the bone. They're trying to fight off whichever leopard they're fighting off. The townspeople are going crazy. He's driving all of the people crazy around him, and she's driving him crazy, and she's madly in love with him. And they're doing pretfalls. They're falling over. Oh, surely it's shallow. We can wait across. Oh, oh good. And fun, fun, fun. Now, Howard Hawks was one of the kings of this kind of movie. He just was a great comic director. He kept them all moving. When did they got on the set for this? This this movie was specifically written for Katherine Hepburn as a vehicle for her. And she had never done this kind of comedy. And they realized, oh my God, she's not funny. And they got her on the set and they went, oh my God, she had she's she's just not funny. Susan I'm side of a hill. Susan stop. I was born on the no. side of a hill. Susan, stop. No. Oh, no. Oh, now look, Susan, we're not getting anywhere like this. Hawks went to Walter Catlett, who'd been an old comic actor for years, and said, Walter, work with her, will you? 
And he went to Kate and he said, look, this guy's going to teach you how to do this kind of comedy. You've never done this kind of comedy. And there's a certain style. And Catlett watched her and he said, she's trying too hard. That's all that's happening. She's trying to be funny. And the last thing you want to do in a situation like this is try to be funny. The funniest thing you can do is play it straight and keep going. You know, Cary Grant had no trouble with this kind of thing because he had been an acrobat on English vaudeville. And he did pratfalls, and that was his specialty. And he had just filmed The Awful Truth with Irene Dunn, where he does all these pratfalls all over the place. So he, this was this was old hat to him. And, of course, as Roz Russell found out a year later when they did His Girl Friday, you got to keep up with Kerry, because he ad-libs and he's going all the time, and Hawks would just find himself laughing. And Catherine Hepburn so relied on Walter Catlett's advice, she said, write him a part of the movie right, right now. I want him around. He's my good luck child. Write him a part in the movie. And so they did. So he got a, Gatlin got a nice part in the movie. Oh, uh, you've been hunting leopards. I said so. I've been hunting leopards, yes. Any luck? Uh, well, not what I'm accustomed to, no. Hawks wanted to break Carrie's image of being just the handsome leading man. So that's why he put the glasses on him. And he modeled him after the old silent comic, Harold Lloyd. So, and Harold Lloyd came on the set and helped Catherine with her piece. And he loaded... The whole movie up with funny people. Charlie Ruggles. Oh, my God. Was there anybody cuter? Ruggles of Red Gap. Stolen Life, which we did a tired old queen at the movies. Uh, 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 Susan, uh, uh, what, what are you? Uh, 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 I'm, 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 I'm surprised. She's hung up. Yes, she, uh, oh, well, well, so am I. <laughs> Why, Horace, what are you doing? <laughs> He's just wonderful. Mae Robson. Who's this great old character, Biddy? She just was so. What are you doing? What? Are, what? What are you? What is the matter with you? Why are you doing? What? Are you, hey, Susan, would you? Is this man someone that you? You know? Uh, is he suffering from something? He's had a nervous breakdown. You had or has? Had. Oh. And it's left him sort of, uh, you know. This set Hepburn up for all the comedies that were to come, and and really taught her a lot about how to do comedy. Um, but I must say that. I always enjoyed her movies with Cary Grant so much more than her movies with Spencer Tracy. With Spencer Tracy, there was that sexual thing, and he was always trying to put, you know, hold her under his thumb, hold her down, you know, make sure I'm the man in this situation. Cary Grant never did that. There was never any sexual thing between the two of them. He was gay, she was gay. There wasn't any big problem there. I've lost my clothes. Well, why are you wearing these clothes? Because I just went gay all of a sudden. So... He always allowed her to be who she was. Just He always, his characters in all their movies wanted her to be the best that she could be. And as a result, she felt free and he felt free. They said that in this movie, they never had a better time than when they shot this movie. They would all, Carrie and Catherine would show up early on the set and work out bits to do, pratfalls and things to do. There's one where they fall down this ravine and they had a, they have to keep rehearsing this and falling down in this ravine. And Carrie, well, let's try, let's try that again. All right, why not? Let's do it again. Oh, don't laugh. I can't help it. Oh, you look so silly. Oh. <laughs> oh. Down there. They clamp cut, you know. But Hawk said the problem with this movie was essentially that everybody was a character. Character. There were no normal people. And to, in order to make a real comedy work, you have to have some normal people who react to the crazy ones around them. But over the years, it just got more and more and more famous. And, and it's probably Hawk's most famous movie now, is Bringing Up Baby. Um, he became really close friends with the writer and director, Peter Bogdanovich. And Peter Bogdanovich loved Bringing Up Baby, and he wanted to do his version of a screwball comedy. So he robbed from Bringing Up Baby so much from Bringing Up Baby, and he did... What's Up Doc with Ryan O'Neill and Barbara Streisand, which is, and Madeline Kahn, which is this wonderful kind of homage to Hawks. And he, he took it to Hawks and Hawks loved it. Hawks said, oh, this is great. This is great. You know, I think that you're going to have a laugh riot with Catherine Hepburn, Cary Grant, Charlie Ruggles, Mae Robson, Walter Catlett, and Howard Hawks's Bringing Up Baby. How about it? Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. Delicious things to eat. The popcorn can't be beat. 